why y'all why y'all doing that like why y'all doing that like your client don't got nothing to do with your attitude so why are you taking it out on them take it out on that man take it out on them kids oh hey y'all i ain't even see y'all over there welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel and it all and welcome to my channel if you are new welcome so hold on i know y'all see this thing right here i see it too it's it's throwing me off but don't let it throw y'all off okay the stain came from the chair so yeah it, the stain gonna be in the video i'm just letting y'all know so yeah but y'all read that title y'all read that title I'm going to be talking about these unprofessional Atlanta hairstylists. That's what we're getting into today. If you didn't read the title, baby, I'm telling you now. That's that's what's on the menu for today. That's what we eating. That's, that's on the menu. Because I don't understand it. I'm fed up. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And honestly, I don't even know if it's an unpopular opinion because I feel like a lot of people finna agree with me. So, I ain't even gonna talk no more, baby. We finna get right into the video. So, I'm drinking my juice. I'm drinking juice. This ain't wine because I'm tired of liquor. I'm tired of wine. I'm tired of anything that's alcohol. So, we drinking straight juice. So, let's go ahead and... Give a cheers to these unprofessional Atlanta hairstylists. Cheers. Okay, so number one is late. Tardiness, whatever you want to call it. As a hairstylist, why are you late? Why are you late? And this is my thing. Soon as we late, we, we could be late one minute. They trying to charge us. But they can be late. They could be 30 minutes late, 15 minutes late, 10 minutes late, an hour late. But as soon as we late, they ready to hold their hand out and charging us late fees. Like, let's make it make sense. Let's make it make sense. Bro. I should not have to be blowing your phone up telling you I'm outside. Like, I should not have to bang on your door telling you I'm outside. I should not have to blow your Instagram DMs up telling you I'm outside. You literally have a schedule that tells you when your next client is. Why am I outside for 30 minutes waiting on you to come to the door? What? why 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 and i get a lot of people have you know other jobs so they might be tired from the night before or the job before or whatever i get that but that's why alarms that's why they make alarm clocks you have an alarm on your phone like it's so much that can wake you up to the point where you're not late for your client like why am i outside waiting on you to come to the door for 30 minutes okay so the next one is attitude i never well i ain't gonna say never but i don't really come across a lot of hairstylists with attitudes when i'm getting my hair done um this one gonna be attitude slash rudeness or no that's gonna be two separate ones okay so yeah we talking about attitude so yeah i never really came across um a hairstylist with like a nasty attitude or nothing if anything you can just tell they kind of like they kind of rushing you a little bit maybe because they behind you know or a client might have made them behind or something like that or is something else going on personally outside of you know outside of their hairstylist life but other than that i really never um i never really had to worry about you know a hairstylist having an attitude i never sat in a chair in the head just like a funky attitude that made me want to you know dip on out but to the stylist that do 
why y'all why y'all doing that like why y'all doing that like your client don't got nothing to do with your attitude so why you taking it out on them take it out on that man take it out on them kids take it out take it out on somebody but your client don't got nothing to do with that with why you mad so don't be taking it out on your clients so number three i'm just gonna make number three rude um so this kind of go hand in hand with the attitude i never really came across like a rude hairstylist but i know some people who have and it's just it just goes for the same thing like what are you being rude for and this is a scary part some people are literally rude for no reason at all like it's literally just in their blood to be rude and i just feel like what's the point of that like be happy you woke up like why are you why are you being rude for no reason i'm talking about snatching just snatching stuff like i don't bro just just why why what's the reason why the reason? Why, what's the reason? Said, hey. why are you rude if you're rude don't work in that profession you know what i'm saying like don't work with clients don't work with customers if you have a rude personality you need to be somewhere in a warehouse you need to be you need to be somewhere where you're not around customers or not around clients because it's like what are you rude for like what everybody going through something that don't mean just be rude to people you feel me like i hate that i hate rude people it's just why are you rude why is your attitude nasty okay let's get into number four baby let's get into number four so number four is canceling slash rescheduling I get it you know i get it i'm not gonna sit here and act like i don't get it i get it you know life happens things come up you know i get it you might have to cancel slash reschedule your client but this is what i don't get this is what i don't get if you cancel or reschedule my appointment for whatever reason but the reason you tell me is a family emergency i should not go on your instagram and see you at the club or see you at somebody graduation or just see you turning up see you in another country turning up having fun that's what i don't get and that's where the unprofessionalism comes in at because i can understand a family emergency like who cool, reschedule me cancel me do whatever you got to do family come before anything i get that but you canceling me to go to cancun you canceling me to go to Cabo, you canceling me to go to Jamaica, you canceling me to go to Tulum, you canceling me to go to Puerto Rico, like the list could go on and on and on, like baby, just don't do hair, just don't do hair, if you want to cancel somebody just so you can go party and have a good time, don't do hair, don't do hair, that's what off days are for, that's what making your own schedule is for like why cancel somebody's appointment because you want to go turn up that don't make that never made sense to me like i get everybody has a life outside of work that's what off days are for you can take off in advance you are an entrepreneur you are your own boss you can make your own schedule so you do not have to cancel your client's appointment i'm talking about they be canceling some of the most important appointments every appointment is important like if so, if a client book you to do her hair that's important but i'm saying like y'all be canceling birthday appointments y'all be canceling wedding appointments y'all be canceling prom appointments y'all be canceling probably funeral appointment like all of that like people it people these folks booking you for a reason they booking you because they need their hair done on this specific date at this specific time why are you canceling to go shake your butt in another country let's just make it make sense let's just make it make sense let's get into the next one i don't even know what number we on no more baby we on facetime is it giving facetime y'all is it giving facetime is it let me let me cover this mark up because the child the mark throwing me off but is it giving facetime y'all because it's really just it's really just making me mad going over all these because they just be so unprofessional and i'm not speaking on all stylists because it's some it's some professional stylists in atlanta y'all it's some good stylists here don't don't let this video scare y'all but i'm just warning y'all because i'm not gonna cap 70 percent of the stylists in atlanta they are unprofessional and i'm gonna keep it a book 
I'm going to keep it a book. But let's get into the next one. So the next one is when these hairstylists let too many clients book at one time. And this literally just happened to my homegirl for her birthday. By the way, y'all go watch that vlog because I did mention it in that vlog. But yeah, this just happened to her. So I get it. Everybody need money. I get it. You know, the economy is f***ed up. I get it. The world is messed up. They keep raising prices. They keep building all this unnecessary f***ing. Raising everybody rent. Raising this. Raising that. I get it. I get it. I get it. The world is crazy. Everybody need money. We need money to survive. I get it. I get it. But what I don't get is when you over when you let your clients overbook and now you're overbooked. Wait, what? <laughs> when you let too many clients book at one time, now you're overbooked. Now you got three people under the dryer. You're trying to braid two people down at once. You looking for the lace glue. You looking for the headband. It's just too much going on. You got eight people in your shop at once. And now the person who you had scheduled to come at 12, now they're not leaving your shop to 5 p.m. just for a simple install. Like that makes no sense to me. It's giving greedy. It's giving, it's really giving greedy because you knew you couldn't have did that. You knew you couldn't have done that. So why sit here and schedule, let these people schedule all these appointments close together, knowing that it's gonna take you a specific amount of time to do each head. That that makes no sense to me, bro. Like you can't be that greedy. You can't be that greedy, bro. You just can't be that greedy. It's enough money in the world for you to take time in between each client. And this don't even gotta do, this This is hair, this is nails, this is makeup. Like I've seen this happen to a lot of different people. So this not even just for Atlanta. Well, it, this not even just for hairstylists. I've seen this happen to a lot of folks in different businesses. So this is crazy, bro. What? Okay, y'all, I'm cracking up. Because the next one is this booking policy, y'all. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'm not going to sit here and bash y'all all the way for the booking policy. Because I know some people don't read. And some people just don't follow instructions. But some of y'all booking policies be insane. Y'all booking policies be insane. I just seen something on Twitter. And it was like, if you don't want me to take pictures of you when I'm done with your hair, you got to book this for, it's like an extra 15 or extra $20. Like, what? You're telling me if somebody don't want their picture taken or if they don't want their video taken, if they don't want you to make a video of them, they have to pay an extra $20, $15, 20 or $15. Ma'am, what? What do you mean? And then I see a couple, I see a lot of um, stylists in their booking site. It basically be like, if you have thick hair, it's an extra $15. Okay. I get, I get thick hair can be a lot to handle. I understand that completely. But if you have thick hair, you can't handle, you can't, you can't control that. Like, if you have thick hair, it's out of your control. You were born with thick hair, so I feel like it's not fair to sit here and charge your client extra money just because she has thick hair. That's my unpopular opinion, because I don't know. I feel like it's probably 50-50 with people, but I, we, we can't help that we got thick hair. Why? I feel like we shouldn't be charged extra for thick hair. If you go to these African braided shops, they don't care what type of hair you got, baby. They gripping and they charging the same amount for each type of texture of hair. Like, I just feel like if you really know how to do hair, I'm going to keep it a book. If you really know how to do some hair, you can work with all different types of textures of hair. That's just my opinion. Because I'm like, why? Why do we got to pay more just because we got thick hair? It might take a little bit longer. I understand that. But, like... A whole 15 extra dollars, a whole 20 extra dollars, whole 30 extra dollars just for, just because we got thick hair. We can't help that we got thick hair, baby. Are you a real braider? So another one that I see on a booking policy a lot is 
come with your hair already braided. I get it makes it easier and it makes the process quicker, but what am I paying you for? What am I really paying you for? I already got to come washed and blow dried and A, B, C, and D. Now I got to come with my hair already braided. What's next? Y'all going to be like, come with the wig already on your hair. I'm just going to make sure you did it right. Like, what? What do you mean I have to come already braided? What do you mean? What do you mean? It's just getting lazier and lazier out here. Like, let's, let's please be for real. I'm paying you to provide this luxury experience. And now you telling me I got to come with my hair already braided. You want me to bring a cap too? You want me to bring the lace glue too? You want me to bring the wig band too? Like, bro, what do you mean I have to come with my hair already braided? What? You're not even washing my hair. You're not even blow drying my hair. So why do I have to come braided? Like, why? For what? I feel like the braid is the most, it's one of the one of the most important things about if you're getting a wig installed because depending on the braids that's how your wig gonna look so if the braids is big and toe up your wig is gonna look big and toe up it's gonna give helmet if the braids are small and neat your wig is gonna give small and neat and put together so it's just like why do i have to already be braiding my hair that's what i'm paying you for i'm paying you to braid my hair some stylists i'm paying you to wash and blow dry my hair i'm paying you to braid my hair girl I'm paying you to put the wig on. Why do I have to come already braided, Buki? For what? I don't even, bro, my braids are trash. That's why I'm going so hard, cause my braids be trash, okay? My braids be trash. I don't, my braids, my braids be trash, okay? Like I can't really braid to the scalp. I can braid to the scalp, but I can't braid to the scalp. Like What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? it's not gonna look right so that's what i'm paying you for but now you're telling me i gotta do this and now you're saying if i want you to braid it it's a hundred dollars more like please get out get out get out get out bro because i'm over it i'm over it I'm okay so the next well this is a part of the booking policy a lot of i see this a lot as well and I will say this is kind of 50-50 because I get y'all on this one. But when y'all say no Amazon wigs, it's kind of like 50-50. Because I get, I get it. You know, I definitely get it. Because Amazon, some of their wigs are trash. I'm not going to sit here and lie for Amazon. But some of their wigs be trash. Some of the lace, it be too dark. It be gray. It just looks a mess. So I get it. But then you have some wigs on Amazon that are fire you know and i feel like i don't know i just feel like y'all can't just sit here and discriminate all amazon wigs because all of their wigs are not bad you know so they have some good wigs but yeah i do see this one a lot they'd be like if you have an amazon wig i cannot do your hair i'd be like dang because one thing about it these amazon companies they is sending free wigs honey so that kind of hurt my feelings because it's like dang i got a free wig and it's like i don't know who to who who to go to to install it because y'all not messing with amazon wigs and girl i can't do my bro I, I tried to do a wig one time and it came out it came out decent but i'm not that's not me that's not me i don't i'm not no hairstylist that's why i'd rather pay you to do my hair yeah so it's kind of 50 50 with the amazon wigs because i get it you know you don't want your client to bring you a bad wig and now you're recording and it just look bad and make your page look bad because the wig look bad and now it look like you made the wig look bad when really amazon did so i get it but then it's just like all of the wigs not bad y'all like give some of them a chance you know like at least you know when y'all bring them in you know check them then don't just discriminate all amazon wigs okay so the next one this one is kind of funny but it's still a little unprofessional so like if you got like a messy stylist and i'm talking about messy baby i'm talking about natalie nun messy i'm talking about messy it's like 
it be funny it be entertaining i just came to get my hair done i ain't trying to be in no mess like i ain't trying to be in no mess i'm finna act like i ain't hear nothing because girl whatever the next stylist got going on that ain't got nothing to do with me so i don't care i don't care about what what the next stylist got going on you here to do my hair you can talk about her to somebody else because i i just i don't know but like i said it'd be funny though but it's just like y'all messy like why y'all so messy what you out here being messy for the next one is about that ching ching i'm gonna say it because i feel like a lot of people are scared to say it but some of y'all are too expensive boom i said it so call it what you want but what i will say is overpriced and expensive are two different things let me explain okay so to me i feel like overpriced is um kind of just knowing your worth and also the cost of living knowing your worth and putting the cost of living together can make some people prices you know they will it will be a little overpriced you know then then it would be normally because if you know your worth baby put your put your put your price on there and add tax for real put your price on there and add tax and on top of that i know the cost of living is crazy it's crazy so i mean you doing hair for a living so you have to be able to afford life so you know put your price on it i get it so that's why i say i can understand overpriced but now wait backwards 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 this is backwards so all of that stuff that i just said i actually meant expensive so knowing your worth and adding tax and just the cost of living that makes their prices expensive now overpriced is where the delulu come in at the delusional part of the hairstylist so when you're overpriced you just taxing just a tax your work is not even that good you just taxing because you done did some celebrities hair you taxing because we gotta pay for your car note and stuff like that that's overpriced that's overdoing it you feel me it's like okay like you done did Michelle Obama hair. Now you want to charge everybody $1,000 an install. That's overpricing it because calm down. Like, calm down, bro. For real, like, calm down. But that's why I say overpriced and expensive are two different things. I could deal with the expensiveness only because, like I said, if your work is worth it and, um, you know, the cost of living, you know, people people not finna just sit here and charge $50, $90, $100 for an install no more. Like, the cost of living is high, so they do have to provide for themselves, you know, so I get it. So that's why I say, I understand the expensiveness, but just not the overpricedness. Just, just don't overprice it. Just don't make it too, 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 too high to the point where it don't make no sense. Like, you overpriced. Like, for real, you overpriced. Expensive is just like, okay this stylist is more expensive than this stylist you know but i'm still go to this stylist because i like her work i like her work ethic you know i like the area you know i like how fast she moves you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna pay the expensive price because you know i love her work but overpriced it's just delusional. You're overpricing it just because you did michelle obama hair and that's just insane it's insane you you charging this amount because you got this BMW, you just got this new Mercedes, and you just got this new penthouse in Atlanta. So now you want to overcharge, you know, you feel me? That's that's what I don't support. I support the expensiveness because I know I get it. Life is life is expensive. And if your work is good, then your work is good. You know, I'm, I'm going to pay your worth. But when you overpricing it and when you overdoing it now, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. what they say when you let somebody skate and they start ice skating no 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 that ain't what they said <laughs> they said when you let somebody slide and they start ice skating so that's what the overpriced people be doing you let the expensive people slide you know you let them slide a little bit and then you got the overpriced people that's starting to skate and it's like nah you're doing too much you're doing too much y'all we on the last one omg mm -mm -mm. So this is the last one and this is another 50 50 because i kind of understand y'all 
and then the other part i don't understand it so the last one is um dropping your wig off two days prior three days prior four days prior whenever they want you to drop your wig off so i i get it you know if i bring my wig two days before you know i expect you to customize the wig when i drop it off you know bleach the knots pluck them you know customize the wig like do whatever you need to do wash the wig do whatever you need to do i get that but what i don't get is when i get there the day of and everything's being done the day of and it's just like i could have just brought you the wig the day of but no no because then if you bring the wig the day of they got these fees it's an extra fifty dollars it's an extra hundred dollars to customize the wig the same day okay so i'm gonna drop it off two days before okay cool drop it off two days before nothing gets done to the wig now is the day of my appointment so now i'm sitting in the chair and i'm turning around and you bleaching my wig you plucking like what what so now i'm just chilling for a good little 30 minutes because my wig ain't customized yet so now i'm just like wow i could have been done 30 minutes ago but now the wig being customized so i don't know i don't that's the part that i don't get because it's like if y'all gonna customize the wig the day of, then why why we gotta bring the wig, you know, why we gotta bring it like two, three days in advance? Why? Why we just can't bring it the day of and y'all do what y'all need to do? Why we gotta, I don't know. I don't know, bro, I don't know. I just feel like if y'all gonna customize the day of, then just let us bring it the day of with no charge. With no charge, Buki. Cause huh? Y'all, I'm finna hang up. This FaceTime call is over with. It just pissed me off. It just pissed me off. <laughs> Y'all, I kinda did my edges. I'm learning how to do my edges. So like, don't come for me too much now cause I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning how to do my own edges. In a minute, I, everybody finna have to learn how to do their own hair. Cause girl, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not finna keep dealing with these stylists. Like, I'm just not finna keep dealing with these stylists. And it's everybody. It's not even just the girls who do wigs. It's the braiders, girl, the girls who do the wigs, the girls who do the quick weaves, the girls who do the clippings. It's everybody. It's all of y'all. It's all of y'all. And again, it's not all of y'all. It's only 70%, but that's still a lot. That's a lot. And I think Atlanta got it the worst. Like, I promise you, Atlanta got it the worst. Like, when you hear about these horror stories, tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. When you hear about these horror stories, they be in Atlanta. 70% of them stories be in Atlanta, bro. Tell me I'm lying. Just tell me I'm lying, bro. Tell me I'm lying. Oh, I had this one girl. She had did my braids. This was a while ago. She pushed my appointment back to like 12 a.m. I kid you not. She either pushed it back to, what time was it? It was 11 p.m. or 12 a.m. It was one of them. And I know y'all probably like, girl, why did you still go? Because I needed my hair done. And that'd be the sad part because it's like, wow. These folks really be trying us. And it's like, we can't even, we be needing our hair done. So it's like, bro, we don't got no choice. Now I'm just looking green because I'm just coming to you when you say come. <sighs> Ciao. I don't know what to say, y'all. What y'all got to say about these stylists? Because I don't know. I don't know what to say. And I don't need none of them style. I don't need none of y'all stylists trying to eat me up in the comments because this is my unpopular opinion. This is just how I feel about some of y'all. All of y'all not like this. So the ones that are professional, I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about the unprofessional ones. But I do want to hear from some stylists though. Like I want to hear, I want to hear y'all's side because that's the type of person I am. Like I want to see everybody's point of view. You feel me? <laughs> 
all right y'all but that pretty much wraps up this video i hope y'all enjoyed i hope y'all enjoyed this little facetime call so if y'all want to hop on facetime again just let me know let me know let me know and don't forget to follow me on my instagram follow me on tiktok as well and yeah if you ain't subscribed if y'all if you ain't subscribed i don't i don't even know i don't even know because we be lit over here we be lit over here when i post we be lit you know when i post we be lit so just just subscribe you know if you want to bro you ain't got to you ain't got to and if y'all haven't seen um my last vlog y'all make sure y'all go tune in that's why i'm not drinking no more alcohol because that video right there that's the reason why i don't no more alcohol i got my grape juice and we calling it a day Okay. Well, I'm gonna see y'all in my next video.